Right now we're going to talk about invisible math, which is just math that's implied but can help you when you're doing problems. So for example, here on number one, we see a six. Sometimes it's helpful to remember that if there's a six, it's positive. So sometimes we'll write it as positive six, and that just helps us when we're working out the problem to know we're going to add or subtract, so on. 1x, you usually see that written as x, that 1 is implied or imaginary. So sometimes when you see x, it helps to put that 1 back into your problem. 2 times x, usually they'll write it as 2x. Um, anytime you have a number in front of your variable or letter, it's good to remember that they're multiplying. That way, if you have to substitute something, you know, okay, I'm going to multiply 2 times this number. Anything times 0 is 0. Here, x over 1 is the same as just x. But again, sometimes it's helpful to remember that x is the same as x over an imaginary 1, especially if you have other fractions in your problem. And this last one, we have negative 1x. Usually, you'll see that as negative x. Again, that 1 can be imaginary, but it's helpful when you're simplifying expressions, like combining like terms. So again, very important to remember that anytime you have a letter by itself, you can put an imaginary one in front, or you can divide by an imaginary one. It's also important to remember that anytime you see this little dot for multiplication, um, you can actually write it your problem without that dot. So 2 times x can be written 2x. Let's go ahead and talk about double negations and additions because these do come out a lot in math. So here we have 4 minus negative 2. Usually when you see a minus and a negative next to each other, so like that, you can change it to addition. So minus a negative means the same as... So I'm going to write it here. Anytime you see that, you can actually change that to a plus. So it's really 4 plus 2, or 6. On this next one, negative 4 plus negative 2. We have a plus a negative. That's actually the same as subtracting. So negative 4 plus negative 2 can be written as negative 4 minus 2. And if you remember from before, these are same signs. So you're really adding them. So 4 plus 2 is 6 and you keep the sign of the bigger number, so negative six. On this next problem here, we have adding a positive. Anytime you're adding a positive, that can just be written as addition. So uh, just like your rules before, if they're same signs you add, if they're different, you subtract. So negative four plus two, these are different signs, so we're gonna subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2, and you keep the sign of the bigger number. So it's negative 2. So just to summarize, um, anytime you have a double negative, that can really be changed to a plus. Anytime you have adding a negative, that can really be changed to a minus. So that's the main thing to remember. When you're subtracting a negative, it's really addition. When you're adding a negative, it's really subtraction.